Do you remember Wordle? Well, today we're going to be playing Wordle as well as some other versions of the game. So, let's start off with Wordle. I usually start off with Slate. Ooh, that's pretty good. Then I go with Round. Oh, that doesn't give me much. Then Shimp. That didn't give me much either. And since I didn't get much information from those three, I'll go ahead and put in Judgy. I did not... Okay. I guess that'll give me a little bit of information on what's left. So it starts with SL. Uh, Sleek, maybe? There we go. Nice and easy. All right, this next one is called Wordle Peaks. Instead of the words being green and yellow based on where they are in the words, it's green and yellow based on where the um, letter is in the alphabet related to what the actual letter is. Here, I'll just show it to you and you guys will eventually understand it from then. So I usually start with minor. That's the best one in my opinion. And then it's all, the first letter is in either in between A and L, so I'm going to try the one in the middle, which is F. The next one will probably be R. This one has to be a vowel, so I'm going to try O. <coughs> That's not an O. An O. And then, this is where it gets a little tough. I actually have to think a little bit. Okay, so I decided that the best word was froze. That would leave this, the fourth letter without any more information, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it. So the R is correct, so that means this first letter is probably a C, and that would make this one probably a U. Mm. I'm gonna think about this a little bit more. So I'm gonna try crude. That's not gonna give me any more information on the fifth one, but it will give me a lot of information on the fourth one. Ooh, okay. So I know that the first three are CRU, but the last two still need more. Oh, okay. So I've figured this out. This might work. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Yep, GG. Let's go on to the next one. All right, this next one is called Octortal. It's basically Wordle, but you have to solve eight of them at once. This one, it's usually best to start have four starter words instead of just one or two. So I usually start with slate, round, chimp, and judgy. And then from there, I can easily finish the rest, like this one. I already have all the letters in place. This one maybe is a little bit easy. So let me give it a think. So I figured out it would be nosy. There we go. Then this one, I now have enough information to solve it. And I figured out that it's cheek. There we go. This one, I'm gonna come back to later. I'm gonna try and go for this one now. Hmm, this is a hard one. It's probably... This is tough. Oh, of course. Siren. There we go. And then let's try and solve this one because I have three greens. Uh, so the eye is back going to be here. So it's... No. That doesn't make sense. S something AMI. What would it be? Okay, so apparently that's a word. Let's try and solve this one. It starts with W-E, swept, obviously. And this one, wow, we've had a lot of S's at the beginnings. <laughs> okay, so let's try S-C-O. No. Oh, stock. Of course, all right. And then let's go back to this one up here. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Okay. 
Um, so I think it's going to start with, oh, Mimic, baby? Let's go, we won. All right, on to the next one. All right, this next one is called Don't Wordle. It's basically Wordle, but your goal is to lose. And this one, this is where I start to use a little cheat, you might call it. I use a word finder and unscrambler because it's quite hard to think of these very obscure words. But usually, I start with Xylil, and then Mama. You want to get words with the least amount of letters as possible. And then, what do I do next? I forget. Uh, doggo. <laughs> Ooh, but that has a yellow in it, so I'm gonna undo it. I usually don't want to have yellows until the very end. And then let's do this. All right, that's good. And then maybe let's just get some of these consonants out of the way. Nope, can't do that. Has a W. Maybe let's try this. Okay, we're good. Now let's go ahead and try doggo now. I, oh, I already eliminated the O. Never mind. Okay, so this is where the word finder comes into play. Usually, I try to find out, if I have undid enough words, I try to find out what it is. I don't know if that's gonna be possible this time, but let's go ahead and try it anyways. So it contains W and G. Does not have a lot. Okay. So on the word on the scrambler, it has a bunch of weird words, and then the word rung. So I am going to stay away from rung because according to these prior words, I think that is the wordle for today. So I'm going to be avoiding that. So let's type into the word finder, exclude the word rung and also the words that we've already used. You're not allowed to reuse words on this, by the way. So, let's try E, I guess. Okay. The word finder has found this word. I don't know if it's a word. It's not, of course. What about this one? Yep, all right, okay. So all we have now is the U, so we're gonna have to use it at this point. How about this word? Does this word work? Yep. All right, GG's. We won this don't wordle with only one yellow. That's pretty good. And six remaining words. That's really good. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, this next one is called Samantle. It is basically a word search game. You start off by typing in a word. It can be any length. This game is not restricted by to five letters. So you give it a word that's any length, and then it will give you the similarity and definition of that word. And you try to find out the word based on the definitions of the word or how similar each word is to the actual word. So I usually start with together because it's decently similar to a lot. And then from there, if it's not so good, I just randomly throw in words. Ooh, university is good. What about job? Mmm. School. No. Building. So at this point, once I get above 10, I start looking for words that are actually similar to them. Car. No. At this point, I'm stuck, so I'm just gonna throw in a new word to the equation. Let's try money. No. This one looks like it's going to be a little hard. So I'm going to let myself get a hint every 10 guesses. We're at guess number 12 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and allow myself to do it. Natures. Ooh. Museum. No. What about just the word nature? Ooh, okay. We're getting into the close territory. 743 words out of a thousand. Um, what about reserve? No. Okay, we're on guess number 21, so I'm gonna let myself do it again. 
evolutionary. So it has something to do with nature and evolution. What about evolution? No. Revolutionary, maybe? No. What about human? Oh, let's go! All right. That's all the wordles I have for you today. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.